Nick Puzo with Multiplex with our Fresh Blender self-serve smoothie machine. In this video, we're gonna talk about some possible causes for excessive water to drip from the dispense area. Um, there is a bit of normal water that you will see drip periodically. It does rinse. There's a rinse nozzle here that rinses off that dispense head after every blend. Um, it can also be forced into doing this extra rinse periodically um, to get extra rinsing of that dispense area, which can cause some dripping periodically. Uh, but if you're seeing excessive water drip, we need to figure out where it's coming from. Is it coming from one of the dispense nozzles or is it coming uh, the LMS valve or dispense nozzles or is it coming from the center area? If the water seems to be mostly coming from that center open area, that means it'll, it's coming from the ice bin. That usually means that there's a drain in the back of the, in the bottom of the ice bin that has backed up, um, causing the water to go out that opening where the ice normally gets dispensed. So um, a couple things that can be done to um, maybe alleviate that. You may dispense a little bit of ice uh, to maybe get some of the ice moved around inside. Sometimes when the ice hasn't been dispensed in a while, it may start to um, freeze up around that drain hole or that drain opening. Um, but if it's coming out one of the dispense LMS valves for one of the products, that could be a, a slightly larger issue to where it is a solenoid that, that allows the dispensing or actually is utilized during the cleaning process, which is now slightly letting water push through the line to still come out that dispense point. If that's the case, you'll have to contact service. Um, if you can't get the water to stop dripping through the center for the ice maker, um, that may become a service call too, to where they have to clean out the ice bin and get down inside to where um, and figure out what is covering up or causing the water to back up in the drain. Um, there are visual checks you can do on the left side if you pull the panel off. Um, you can, when you pull this left panel off, you can see the drain from the bottom of the ice bin to the drain line out the back. Very quickly, you'll be able to notice if there's water backed up in there. Uh, if there is, again, that would be a service call to help clear those lines out. So if you're calling to diagnose um, what's been reported as excessive water dripping from the dispense area, uh, first thing you'll want to do is you'll look up in there and try to figure out whether it's coming from a valve or it's coming from the center ice area. You can log in as a service um, with your service password. You're going to go to outputs, service outputs. You go to cleaning. If you're going to go ahead and just dis dispense a little bit of ice, um, you'd have to go to the dispense and blend. But under cleaning, you can try to diagnose each one of these rinse valves. You want to have a cup in place in the dispense area. And then over on the right side represents each one of your cleaning valves. Um, these are also referred to as your CIP cleaning valves, which stands for clean in place. From top to bottom, you have one through eight, valves one through eight. And they actually represent each one of these dispense ports that get cleaned during the weekly cleaning. So there's a normally closed valve associated with each one of those lines. When you toggle them on, it opens the valve and it allows line water to come in and rinse through the line to the, through the dispense point. So what could be happening if you're witnessing water coming out one of these dispense valves, one of those solenoids may be staying slightly open or there might be debris in the water line or it could possibly be a, a failing solenoid but they stay open and allow water pressure to push through the product line continually and then up through the dispense point. And it can start as just a, a little bit of a drip or a weeping of that, of that valve. You're gonna also wanna make sure you have a product bag in place. If you do not have a product bag in place when you do this, the water will not come through the dispense point. You're just gonna dump water into the cabinet. You go over here, you press your valve one. Then you'll wanna look underneath to see where it's dispensing if it lines up with where the dripping was coming from. As you can see, it's gonna flush the product out just like it would during cleaning because you're putting clean line water directly through the whole circuit. You toggle it off, see if the drip is reduced, see if it's, it's helped to stop that, that water continually coming from that spot. If that wasn't the correct spot, move on to the next one, move on to valve two. Once you get to the one that, you, that, that looks like it was producing the drip, 
what you'll want to do is maybe toggle it on and off a couple of times. Maybe you'll be able to get debris, if there was some debris in that valve that got hung up and is what's keeping that valve open, it helps free it up. So you'll actuate it a couple of times, on, off, on, off. And that actuation can sometimes help free whatever might have been in that line. If that does not solve the problem, then you're probably going to have to dig in. You're going to have to dig into this side, um, get into the CIP solenoids, uh, and, and take one off and, and possibly replace it. Unless you take it off and you actually visibly see something stuck in there, then you can actually probably free it up and put it back into place. But it's probably safest at that point to do a replacement of the solenoid. If you see the water is coming more from the center where the ice gets dispensed. What you can do is go into dispense and blend, maybe dispense a little bit of ice. See if get, getting the ice agitated helps alleviate some of the issue. You, you may not know it right away, unfortunately, and, and what's gonna happen is it may come back. It just depends on how much product they're probably selling at that store location. Um, if, if the machine does not uh, make you know, a lot of drinks during the day, there's more potential for the ice to build up in that bin and possibly clog that drain hole on the inside of the ice bin. Um, if, if that dispensing of the ice for a little while does not seem to help, um, maybe it even like accentuated a little bit, you're gonna have to empty the ice bin, get in through the top, um, get down into the bottom and actually visually see if, if there's something in, the, in obstructing that drain. Um, you can also take this left side panel off, and uh, which you probably would have to do at the same time. If you're gonna get in the top, you'd have to take both side panels off um, and the top panel, and then um, remove the top motor on the ice maker, get in the bin, um, flush it with some water, put it back together, and as long as that drain on the inside of the ice bin is free, water should not come out this dispense point excessively. That's how you diagnose and take care of a excessive water in the dispense area.